So that is what I call a great start. Three wins on the bounce and nine points grabbed for the Cowleys. Final score, Portsmouth 2, Rochdale 1. Portsmouth goal scorers, Ryan Williams in the fifth minute to open the scoring and Ronan Curtis in the 37th minute to go through at the break 2-0 at half time. Came back in the second half, not much from Portsmouth, created a few chances but no third goal from our chances. Then the 85th minute, Rochdale go grab a goal. So it was a, it was a very tense last few minutes. But I got to say we were absolutely astonishing today, defending so much passion in the team. We looked so much different. We looked such a different team. Before Kenny Jackie was here, not you didn't see much happening with Kenny Jacket, but I am so so happy the way we've grabbed three wins on the bounce and nine points grabbed to be fifth in the playoffs with 61 points and only one point off Lincoln City in fourth with 62 points. So, um, the way the table looks is right there. Whole City with 73 points, Peterborough with 72, third with Sunderland with 70, uh, Lincoln with 62, and fifth is Portsmouth with 61, and sixth is Blackpool with with 60 points so it is very very tight in the top six and especially in the top 12 teams in the table so um as i saw we played really really well first half we were dominating so so much and that's why we've grabbed three points today feels like it's a front it feels like it's Saturday, it really does. But um, we now travel down to the DW Stadium to face Wigan Athletic, which should possibly be another three points. But as it remains, I think we will be getting playoffs at this rate, which we are in a great position, fifth in playoffs with 61 points. Someone please tell me what's going on with Lincoln City at the moment. Top of the table a few weeks ago. And now they've moved down to fourth in the playoffs with 61 points. So we can now look at the full time stats between Rochdale and Portsmouth. So possession, 60% Portsmouth possession. Rochdale, 40%. Total shots, Portsmouth 7, Rochdale 11. On target, Portsmouth 2, Rochdale 3. And off target, Portsmouth 4, Rochdale 4. So we could have been, I, I'm going to say this, we could have possibly been 3-0 at half time. But couldn't get that third goal that we needed. But our last three games ended up, we have a 2-1 victory and we've grabbed 9 wins, 9 points on the bounce and remain 5th in the playoffs with 61 points. So is this run going to carry on with 9 games left to play? These are last 9 games left. <laughs> the only um, team that isn't in the bottom half, it's Ankington Stanley, we've faced them twice. And at the top of the table we have two games in hand on Hull City. We have, this is just at the top, um, so two games in hand on Hull City, 
one game in hand of Peterborough. Yeah, so it's very, very tight. But overly, my man of the match is Ronan Curtis today because he was absolutely brilliant. The goal he scored was absolutely incredible. Ryan Williams especially, great work up play from Marcus Harness, crossed into the middle to um, straight to Ryan Williams from two yards out to open the scoring to make it Portsmouth 1, Rochdale 0. Then we never stopped. We always attacked, you know, chances. We always made made chances. And we made some very good chances today. And we and we have especially gained the three points very, very well. And fair play to everyone on that pitch today. Then 37th minute, it's a goal, Portsmouth 2, Rochdale 0, and Ronan Curtis inside the box scores in the right bottom right hand corner. And at the break he finished Portsmouth 2, Rochdale 0. Second half, Rochdale came out in the second half, having a couple of chances, both teams having a lot of lots of chances, but they came up in the 85th minute and got a goal to make it Portsmouth 2, Rochdale 1 and that finished the game off, 5 minutes added on, don't know why he had another minute, um, uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds on, don't know where he got that from but it's full, it finished at Fratton Park, Portsmouth 2, Rochdale 1 and it's a great win for the Blues and the Cowleys three wins in a row for Portsmouth and remain fifth in the playoffs with 61 points with nine games left to play in League One. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one for Wigan versus Portsmouth match preview. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.